Hello. So somebody on my Discord reminded me that I have not released the water system that I used in Vertigo 2, and I thought that would be a good thing to uh, make public and open source like some of the other stuff that I've done recently. Uh, so here's a little demo scene that I put together showing uh, what this water system can do. It's very optimized um, because it's designed for VR, but it does have some limitations. The first one that you'll notice is that water surfaces have to be flat. There's no like actual waves, so that's a big one. It makes it a little bit more basic than some of the more modern uh, water systems out there, but I still think it's a nice little shader and it's it's got some uh, cool features. So one that's fun is that you can do these uh, ripples on the surface. Again, these are 2D, but they, they look very nice. These can be created from objects moving around in the water or from custom sources like uh, waterfalls or splashes or whatever. You can also have uh, multiple bodies of water with very different materials and properties. As you can see, I've got a couple right here. These use uh, physically based light absorption and scattering for the rendering. So you get this very kind of realistic look to them. And you can also customize the uh, the density of the light scattering. So here I've got this uh, really muddy looking stream as opposed to these uh, clearer pools and even this uh, deep ocean out here. So showing off the range of effects that we can do with that. Now it also supports rendering underwater. We can go under this green water and see how that looks. Um, of course, if you go in the different water, it will be the correct color. And there's also these nice uh, view transitions when you're partway in the water. It's uh, completely seamless. There's no pop-in or anything like you sometimes see in video games when you go underwater. One other nice thing is that uh, you can mask out areas of water. So you can see this boat actually, uh, the hollow part extends underneath the water's surface, but there's a water mask in the boat, so it, uh, it hides the water. And also objects will ignore the water while they're in the boat. So this cube, okay, well, that, that was, uh, it appears to be still splashing, but that is a bug. It's not supposed to do that. The point is it's acting like there's no water in the boat. That time it didn't splash, see? And this lets you make some, uh, some nice boats with objects in them. So I guess the last thing is, uh, you know, the simple water physics that I have going on here. Um, these are pretty basic. There's just, uh, for each object, you define a single direction that is its uh, buoyant direction. So for this cube, it just always tries to put this face up. These boats, they try to upright themselves as well. This is like the most basic water physics you can do, but it's kind of good enough for, for most video game situations. And that's it. All of this is public under the MIT license, so you're free to use it commercially in your games or uh, any other projects. So uh, have fun.